And we are back in the cut. Basement Lapenta, WICR. Yeah. Rob Jiggity, Benzino Hero. Yeah, she. Listen to that, sign. Yeah. <laughs> it's in the cut with Benzino the Hero and Rob Jiggity on WICR. <laughs> yo, yo, it's your boy Zine Zine Jiggity back at it. On this segment, hey, follow us on Twitter at Benzino underscore the hero at Rob Jiggity, WICR on YouTube. Look us up. We do, we, we spit bars. We, we talk about sports. And, you know, we got other videos. Just type it in the cut. Because that's what we're about. And on this segment, we'll be discussing LeBron James. His greatness? Nah. Dot, dot, dot. Maybe. Mm. Interesting. We're going to be talking about LeBron James and his recent, um, his dreams and aspirations. Yeah. Because LeBron James being the king of the world, yeah. it's only right that he has dreams. Yes. <laughs> and one of his dreams... Being in the king's court is to have his closest gestures around him. Hmm. Hmm. Where am I going with this? I'm going with LeBron James said earlier last week that he wouldn't mind taking a pay cut. LeBron? Pay cut? What? Nah. Tw- 23 mil a year over two year contract so so you don't have to do a salary cap? Nah. And he wants to do a pay cut? That's wild. That's wild. You can't do that. He's taking a pay cut, dot, 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 if, dot, 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 he can play with his friends. Aww. <laughs> Bron, that's thoughtful, yo. Keep it a buck. That's really, like, if I was if I was a 6'6 guard in Otis Slaughter, and I'm playing with Quentin James, Word. You know, I could take a pay cut for my mans. Because we're going to get endorsed regardless. Yo, Rob, how many how many millions of dollars did he get in his lifetime Quentin. from Nike? Oh, uh, LeBron? Yeah. It's 30 mil a year. 30 mil a year. For the rest of his life. The rest of his life. And he's talking about gun take pay cut. But LeBron James, having dreams and aspirations, he would like to play with his friend Dwayne Wade again. Yes. But that's not all. You're going to have one of the best point guards to ever lace up. CP3. CP3. And one of the best pure scorers. Pure Steph scorers, an offensive jug. Carmelo Anthony. Olam. 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 The Greek god of offense. The Greek god of offense. Is LeBron... We know LeBron's history of leaving Cleveland. Going back to Miami. Leaving Miami. Going back to Cleveland. And him saying that, does this bring up a red flag if you're a Cleveland fan? Flan? Yes. Fan. Didn't Flan. he unfollow the, the Cleveland Cavaliers Twitter, right? Yes, but he does this social media thing. Like how I do at Benzino on the score to hero and I, Rob does at Rob Jiggity. But he tries to get into his zone. He doesn't want to hear yeah. all the hoopla. He gets into a zone where he doesn't use social media. But, but to unfollow. But to unfollow your, your team's Twitter is sounds like he's getting ready to leave. He sounds like he deloading. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yo, check that clip out. D'Angelo Russell is a snitch. Type it in on YouTube. That was our other clip. But... LeBron James having that thought in his head, delete, uh, unfollowing his team on Twitter, is is he in the wrong of that? He he can do what he please, but when you're the when you hold King's Court, yeah, something that small can have dramatic cause, effects. Yes, cause all a over problem. all over basketball, which he did because a reporter asked him. He was like, "Yo, Bron, I'm I'm sorry, but you know I'm a reporter. I I, I got to get these questions in." And he asked him about about following, uh, unfollowing Cleveland Cavaliers on Twitter. He's like, no comment. But the next day, he commented. So, someone in this camp definitely told him, yo, you got to speak upon this. Now, CP3, Dwayne Wade, Carmelo Anthony, LeBron James, dream team. Yes. What What's the it? real, if this can happen? What is the, what, what would have to happen is they'd all have to take major pay cuts. Major. You getting paid like my son Langston Galloway? Yeah, they have to take like max eleven mil a year. Uh, also, there would have to be some, definitely, multiple teams. Probably like a nine team trade. Imagine that happen. Nine team trade. Nine team trade. Oh my god! Just, just, just dismantle what we know about the NBA <laughs> to get all these four players on the same team. Now, I'm gonna rephrase the question of. Can they get all four on the same team? 
Um, is that is that a possibility? Is that a possibility? All right, D Wade's contract up. But D Wade got miles on. I know Braun got miles on him, but D Wade got yeah. D Wade is hurt, but D Wade's been looking D-Wade good. D Wade getting buckies now. He's been looking D- good recently. Oh D, shout so, out to the Dow. I don't know. D Wade could probably play another one more year. One, one more year. year. So at, at the level he's playing, at the level twenty two PBG, he could probably play one more year. Okay, at twenty two points per game. Uh, I'm thinking D Wade takes a. D Wade, uh, after this year, he's free. Melo, what well, he got? Two more years left. Two more years left. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if uh, D Wade could wait that long. You know, maybe. Uh, and I'll, and plus, I don't think D Wade would leave Miami to do that. Nah, Dwayne. Because I feel Dwayne, like that's his team, Rob. Yeah, D Wade is uh, is more noble than LeBron. I feel like in that mm, sense, noble king. Hmm, I like that. Yeah, Dwayne Wade. Even though LeBron came into town, it was Dwayne Wade's team, but LeBron took over. But Dwayne Wade's the cornerstone of that franchise. Exactly. Of the existence of that franchise. And then Melo no said... No disrespect to Alonzo Mourning. Yeah. Or, my, or the shooter. Melo said uh, he has unfinished business. Yeah. And the only, the most likely one, I'd say Chris Paul. Yeah, because CP... Hmm. Because Chris Paul has been... You can have people come to LA. Yeah. No more parties in L.A. When you have LeBron James, Chris Paul, you trade away Blake to the Knicks. Imagine. Get Carmelo. Shout out to Walsh on that. Shout out to Walsh. He did um, say that. But uh, Nick would be dumb hype. Because <laughs> my man is Nick. Um, he was a Brooklyn Net fan, right? Well, New Jersey Net. And then Nick's got a buddy banged with Melo. Nick's got Melo. Oh, yeah, go Melo, go Melo. But Blake Griffin became good. At, oh, I like Blake Griffin. As he should. He's entitled to his opinion. Yeah. But if Blake Griffin comes to New York and Melo, I'm not going to hear the end of it. <laughs> He's going to be on the wagon. <laughs> but it's just fascinating how the best player in the world needs help from the top 15 players in this league. Yeah, I feel like me personally, that's why I never liked LeBron. I feel like that's a cake move. Yeah, LeBron. Is, OD I cake. feel like LeBron's soft in in my opinion. Mentally, uh, mentally, yeah. Physically, he's a tank, but mentally, I feel like he's soft because it's because he got no hair. <laughs> mentally, you know, it's a, it's a lapse right there. Mental lapse, uh, you know, the spots. <laughs> Continue, Robert. <laughs> no, I feel like <laughs> when he first left Cleveland to go to Miami, I feel like. All right, I I kind of I don't I don't really respect it, but hey, I feel you. You want to go win? Yeah, you want the rings. But then he left Miami again to go back to Cleveland, and he said, "Oh, I want to go back home, get a ring from my um, got for the hometown. Got to get one for the land. Yeah, got to get one for the hometown. <laughs> but now now when it gets hard, and he's looking like he wants to leave again. That's soft. It's you're considered the best player of all time." Yeah, he's in the conversation, and and look at look at how other players did it. Don't get me, the difference between this with say Magic Johnson. Wilt was on that team. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar was on that team. Worthy was drafted. Yeah. He, he didn't ask for all that. Yeah, LeBron's but, asking, "Yo, CP, let, let, let's share the rock. Let's win." It, it's it's different when LeBron's doing it. If LeBron could attract those players to come to him, I'd, I'd feel I'd, I'd have more respect for him. But wait, to all go to Cleveland? If if he could get like one or two of those players to come to Cleveland, yeah. I'd have respect for him. But the thing is, it's probably not gonna happen. I feel like LeBron is is all for that. Like D Wade could D Wade attracted players to come to him. Jordan attracted players to come to him. Kobe attracted players to come to him. But Le- Le- LeBron's doing it. LeBron's leaving the squad. Like, you... oh, okay. You're saying that it, you got to stay home and do it. You can't. You can't say, yeah, I want to play with Mel, uh, Dwayne, and CP. But no, I'm saying you, you rocking that ugly Clippers jersey. I'm saying because LeBron said, I want to win, win one for the hometown. Then if he leaves, he's soft. That's gonna ruin homie reputation. Because you said you want to win one for the hometown, and then and don't dip. and don't follow up on it. That makes you soft, in my opinion. The fact that, oh man, I was gonna say that Braun 
He's doing all this. But he got... He has a championship caliber team right now. Right? Uh, I feel like they 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 need one piece. Yeah, but the champion, championship... With, well, LeBron James being the best player ever, it's championship team. I mean, he's... Well, yeah, Rob, you got Kyrie, you got Kevin Love, you Kyrie, got Tristan Kevin Thompson, Love. you got Channing Fry, you okay. got you got Earl, you got Iman, you got Del Badova. Iman's trash. Get him out of here. Get him out of there. But uh, no, nah, but defensive wise, you got you got LeBron, you got somebody that LeBron don't got to guard the best play when you put Iman on him, which gives LeBron more, more reason not to fail because you're not guarding the toughest assignment on the other team. Iman's not even that good of a defender, honestly. Yeah, but Iman probably gets two quick fouls. Bench him. Put James Jones in the game, man. LeBron, I feel like LeBron's squad is just one piece away. And if LeBron can get that one piece to join that squad, is or the, the or the the coaching staff or the the front office staff can get that one piece to Cleveland, and LeBron can win it there, I feel like that would would make his legacy. Hey, it's an interesting topic that LeBron even brought this up, and the fact that. Us being basketball heads, we get to discuss this topic. But for this segment, I'm calling it Dunzo. It's uh, in the cut. Rob Jiggity, Ben Zeno the Hero, at Ben Zeno the Hero, at Rob Jiggity. Like the vid, comment, you know, have a forum. It's YouTube. It's in the cut. Let's go, man. Yep.